In this episode of Working with Drafts, I'm going to show you how to get drafts even faster. Hello and welcome to episode two of my Working with Drafts series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you how to put a turbocharger into drafts. Yes, a real turbocharger. Well, not really. What I'm going to show you today is something that I've been using for a long time now and it's how I get stuff into Todoist, Evernote, email, messages, and actually even just using the dictation function, which I'm going to come to in a very near future episode. But it is game changing because this makes things so much faster. The problem is, is that it takes a little bit of setting up and I think we're going to have to go through this very slowly in order for you to get the idea of how to do this. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So let's go straight into drafts this week and I'm going to show you how to turn your take your action steps and move them into the keyboard toolbar so that you can get things much, much faster. Okay, so here we are with our drafts uh, opening page and we've got a keyboard at the bottom, the blank piece of paper at the top, and at the top of the keyboard we have actions that you can use. Now I've modified this one already. This is just the standard one. I've got Evernote at the front. I've got share. I've got uh, messages, mail and insert date. Now you can reorganize these and they're very very simple. You can just click on the arrow on that left hand side. You can choose whichever keyboard you want. So we've got editing, markdown, tools, processing. You can actually hit the pencil and then that's going to allow you to manage the groups that you have. However, what we want to do is to create a new keyboard action sheet. And the way to do that is to hit the plus at the top right hand corner. So hit that and you're going to add edit group. But you're going to add a new one. So I'm going to call this one uh, my keyboard. Um, I mean, you can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call this my keyboard because this is the one that I actually want. I'm going to give it a a unique number. So I'm going to give I'm just going to pick this one. But you can go through all of those uh, different icons that you want. And to do the icons, by the way, is you just hit where it's where the icon is and it will open up all the icons that you want. And that's just the way to either. there's so many there. You just choose which ones you want. Allocate it a color by just hitting one of these colors that you have here. I'm going to give mine orange and it says actions, but that's not important. If you go a bit further down where it says visibility, you want to add available as keyboard, turn that on and that's on. And then when you go down to the next level where it says advanced, I'm going to hit trash because I don't want the note to stick around. Once I've sent it somewhere, that's all I need. And that's it. So we can go back to manage groups and you see that my keyboard now is at the bottom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move that up to the top because this is the one that I want showing up as on my keyboard every time I open drafts. So we are done. OK, so that's done. Now, what we're going to do next is go to the top right hand uh, corner where you see the drafts icon. Click on that. And what we need to do is hit the <laughs> wait. There's nothing there. But what I want to do is I'm going to go to my basic here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on this. I'm going to hit. Uh, sorry, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit. Oh, I told you this was not easy. OK, what we're going to do now is we're going to go down to the bottom right where it says select. Hit the select key, tap on the task in Todoist and add. So there you go, that's highlighted. And then go to operations at the bottom there. If you hit on operations and copy to and then click on my keyboard. OK, so that's the first one that we've done. So what I'm going to do is I don't want to see copy there. So I'm going to hit I'm going to pull that to the side and I'm going to go edit because I just want to remove copy. So I'm going to remove copy, da, 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 done, and that's done. 
Okay, now to get back to your basic keyboard, the one that you set up last week, is to go click on my keyboard, go to basic, because that's where we set that up, and we've got new note in Evernote. So what we do is go down to the bottom, select, tap on that. In fact, actually what you can do is, and this is, I just realized you can do this, you can actually click on multiple ones. So I'm gonna click the ones that I really want. Uh, let's say I want to tweet, and plus an event, um, save to files. Uh, I want the copy as well because that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so now we've multiple selected uh, these ads. Go to operations, copy to my keyboard, and boom, there we go, it's all there. Now the thing is, of course, we've got copy there, so we're gonna go in and you can actually go through and just edit these. So I'm gonna hit, um, just delete the copy, and actually in this particular one, I only need to see Evernote, so I'm going to remove Evernote. Okay, so that's how we do. So <clears throat> that's what we can do. Now the other thing that you can do here is tap on Show Icon. Now because Evernote Icon is obviously obvious, so I'm going to show that. We'll show you how that looks in a moment. And uh, we'll do the same. Now I'm going to leave that one as it is but you can go through all those and just remove the copy uh, that's going to take too much time and you don't need to see that you can do that how you want to do it so remember if you want to remove the copy you just pull it to one side edit and then just remove the copy and again if you want to just have the icon just tap on show icon and then job done done okay so now that we're there let's tap on there and look what happened we're going to need to go into the arrow I'm going to go my keyboard and as you can see, we've got the Todoist is written as Todoist. We've got the to Evernote icon to send message to Evernote, and we've got the <coughs> uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. we've got the uh, mail icon. So actually, what I'm going to do is so if we do this, so let's then send this to oops to Todoist. There we go. Send this to Todoist. I'm going to hit bang and off it goes and it's gone to Todoist and likewise if I want to do this is a new note and let's say I'm not sure where I want to send it then I hit the share sheet it's going to bring up my uh, my iPad's share sheet and I can choose whatever I want to do and send it wherever I want so I'm going to hit Evernote that's going to go off to Evernote now the thing is it hasn't it's brought up the Evernote thing because I haven't set up my Evernote account in drafts yet. But if you set up your Evernote account, then this icon button won't come. And I can just sit, boom, and off it goes. And there you go, shared and it's copied and the message disappears. So let's just go over those steps because I know that looks quite complicated. The first thing you need to do is to hit the icon sign there and you want to go into manage groups. So we're going to manage the groups and you can hit the plus sign to create a new uh, keyboard that you wish. What we're going to do now is to, to create your new keyboard, you just add the group and then this has got eight actions. What I'm going to do now is, as you can see, to do is, I don't I can just go in there and I'm just going to go and say show icon. And I can actually type in their key label, but which I've done. It's going to mail. Uh, that one's already done, so that's fine. Let's go into the share because the share is one that I, I just want to add the icon because I can. It's going to be a lot obvious. Uh, message again. Message only needs the icon. Um, I don't need to have copy there, so we can get rid of that. So you can do all these things. And let's go back to the group. That's been done. Done. Okay, and as you can see, I've cleaned this up a lot better. So we've got to do is, then we've got the Evernote, we've got mail, message, share, and then tweet, Evan, event, and copy. So you've got lots of things that you can do and create your own. This is the way that I would do it so that I have just a few on there, the few that I use the most. Okay, hopefully you found this episode useful. I fear that you will need to go through this a couple of times just to get the hang of it. But once you've got your keyboard set up in the way that you want it set up, that's how you end up supercharging your version of drafts. Thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. 
it is a complete comprehensive productivity and time management course and it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before it shows you how to build your very own cod system collect organize and do it shows you how to create the folder structure how to build into your, your goals into your daily to-do list it has everything and not only that you will get a free copy of your digital life 2.0 the book you also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course it is incredible value I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.